with Cataclysm, we were given a brand new version of Wintergrasp, namely Tolbarad. This was a large-scale PvP zone with the battle taking place every two and a half hours. But unlike Wrath, Tolbarad was also tied to a daily quest hub and consequently a reputation. Baradin's Warden for the Alliance and Hellscream's Reach for the Horde. The thing is, in addition to giving rewards like mounts and toys, the reputation also gatekept some of the strongest trinkets in the game. The tank trinket, for example, is the best in slot trinket for phase 1 and will even be used in some fights in phase 2, especially during progression. Since we'll most likely have a grace period between the launch of the game and the release of the first raid tier, we'll have time to grind out Exalta with this reputation before launch. But for some people, especially if you don't hit 85 within the first few days, it'll be tight. But luckily for us, there are quite a few things we can do to optimize our reputation game with the faction. And as such, here is your reputation guide to Tolbarat. The primary thing that will grant us reputation is dailies. On the island of Tolbarat, you'll have access to two separate zones. One that will always be available, and one that will be available after your faction has won the battle. I suspect that we'll get a similar structure as we did in Wintergrasp due to the one-sided faction balance, so I wouldn't worry too much about whether or not you'll have access to the winning side. On the one side, you'll have access to six dailies. Each quest gives you 250 reputation as well as one Tolbarat commendation. More on those later. The exception is the quest called Shark Tank, which spawns on a random rotation and gives you 350 reputation and 2 commendations. On this island, there is a total of 22 daily quests, but only 6 will appear daily. They all take you around the same route of the island, but will vary in the objective that you need to complete. Then you have this second island, and this is where you can sweat a little bit extra if you want to get your trinket as soon as possible. After winning a battle, you'll get access to 6 new daily quests. One of those quest givers will always be the same and will give you the same 3 daily quests every day. Then next to that quest giver, you'll have another quest giver that will give you an additional 3 dailies. But who that quest giver is varies and so does the quest they give. Each quest from this zone gives 350 reputation. But this is where we can sweat a bit. You see, there are 3 random quest givers and they randomly spawn after each battle. That means you can return after each battle hoping for a new quest giver and he'll give you an additional 3 quests even if you've already completed the 3 quests from the previous quest giver. With doing all of the 6 quests from the previous island as well as the possible 12 quests from this island, that will net you 5700 reputation from daily quests alone every day before accounting for reputation bonuses. In addition to rep from dailies, winning Tolbarat battle also grants you an additional 250 reputation and 3 commendations. Doing the Baradin hold raid nets you a decent amount of reputation as well, but that won't be available until after the raid tier has already been released. But if you're watching this after the launch, then that will be something that's available to you as well. Alright, let's talk commendations. These commendations that you receive from daily quest and winning Tolbarat are used for several things. But the primary thing that we care about is our previous trinkets. Before you spend commendations on anything, you should save up 125 to have ready for when you hit Exalted. Anything after that can either be saved to pick up a second trinket for an offspec, pets and mounts, or be used to speed up the reputation process. 10 commendations can be turned into 250 reputation, which is horribly inefficient, but if you already have 125 commendations and don't care about the cosmetics, you might as well get the reputation. In addition to humans having 10% reputation gain, all races will have access to 5% bonus reputation from the guild perk. This just requires rank 3 with the guild and since we're getting the revamped guild system with the pre-patch, everyone should have rank 3 before doing their first daily quest. And while the Darkmoon Fair Island was added in this expansion, the 10% reputation buff was not added until Mist of Pandaria, so that will not be available. With doing all the dailies and winning 3 battles per day, you'll be looking at getting 6,930 reputation per day without the shark quest. That means you can get from neutral to exalted in 7 days, earning you the exalted trinket with time to spare before the release of the raid. If you take the things a bit more casually and only do the 6 daily quests on each side and winning 1 battle per day, that'll give you 4,095 reputation per day, meaning it'll take you 11 days to reach Exalted, which will be cutting you close to the raid release even if you ding 85 within the first few days. Dailies are not the most fun thing in the world, but having basically an anti-magic shield on a 1 minute cooldown is pretty damn good. And having the reputation done and over with early feels pretty satisfying as well. Plenty of more Cataclysm content is to come, so if you're looking to stick around for Cataclysm Classic, make sure to subscribe. 
that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.